Hey, good morning. Happy Monday. Rise and shine. The time here in beautiful central Pennsylvania is approximately 20 minutes after 7 a.m. Get your coffee or your, or your favorite morning beverage. Let's go. Ah. Well, <clears throat> I have to get ready here and... Uh, I'm going to see my family doctor, Mr. Charles. Uh, they want to uh, recheck my blood pressure, and I've been doing it uh, diligently, as I've been told, um, for the past, excuse me for a minute here, for the past uh, week or so, all right? And what I got, they told me to pick this up. I got this over there at uh, the local Walmart, all right? And uh, it's pretty cool, you know. Um, they told me to get a, a blood pressure machine, and that's what it looks like, all right? Um, I've never seen one of these. Of course, I've n never had a need to see one of them, I guess, you know. But uh, yeah, you take this thing, and then, uh, you know, you put it on, and, and you strap it on like that with, of course, that part down here on, on this part of your arm so it can... So you can read your blood pressure, you know, you hit that button and it tightens up and all that good stuff, you know. But uh, when uh, my doctor suggested that I get this <clears throat> so I could uh, monitor my own blood pressure, uh, they said, you know, they go anywhere from uh, <clears throat> like uh, $40 up to 250 bucks. <laughs> Uh, they said, Ralph, you don't need to own all the bells and whistles, all right? Just get the basic one for $40. It's about 40 bucks, Ralph. Get that one and you'll be fine. So that's what I got. And uh, it's pretty cool. It gives me my blood pressure and it gives you your pulse. And uh, and there's a, a setting for a second person, you know, if you have somebody in your family that wants to use it or needs it. Well, I don't, So, but it's there, you know. And... uh I got my little, uh, excuse me one more time here, got my little log book here, all right, which, uh, can you read that log book, ain't that cool? That's my advertising specialty there, all right, and that was uh, given to me through this company that I deal with, but anyway, my uh, little log book, uh, you know, I, I write down every day, uh, I started this on 11-7, uh, all right, so what? what's that, uh, that's November the 7th, and uh, today's the 19th. So that's, uh, I've been uh, logging my blood pressure every day. And uh, I'll take this in uh, to my fine doctor, and hopefully that'll impress him that I'm even uh, logging it in, you know. All right, enough of that. <coughs> <coughs> oh, and then I got up this morning. Uh, I take these eye drops that uh, my, uh, my eye doctor has me on because uh, um, I don't have glaucoma, but uh, um, I forget how he phrases it, but uh, I, I'm in, in the category to get glaucoma. Again, that's not the correct uh, terminology, but uh, so he has me on these drops. Uh, I got to put them in twice a day, you know, in both eyes. Uh, I guess it helps to uh, keep some of the pressure down and all that good stuff. <clears throat> but um, that's why I got this cough going on again. When I when I use these drops, um, you know, obviously it goes down your throat too when you put the drops in. And whatever uh, medication is in these drops um, makes my throat really dry. I'll get up in the morning and uh, It'll be like I, I've been out in a desert, you know, so I drink a lot of water because of that. Matter of fact, uh, I have some water here right now. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm on that medication, too. Um, uh, other than that, uh, I got my appointment here shortly. I'll go and get all cleaned up here and uh, go and see my uh, family doctor, Dr. Charles, and... Uh, then there's a Redner's right down the street, so I'll go for a, a quick walk in there, and I, 
I usually like to check out their their meat prices to uh, to see if there's anything that uh, flips my fancy that I might want to buy and bring home and uh, put on my grill. Yes, my grills are available to me uh, 12 months out of the year. Snow does not bother me when I'm growing, believe me. I think I've told you this before. I have many friends that, uh, a couple young ladies that, <clears throat> they run every, every, every day. And every once in a while, I catch them running while I'm out on my grill. And there was one year they were running, uh, it was like after a snowstorm. And uh, the girl's name is, uh, the lady's name, excuse me, is uh, Tina, right? And she go running by and she goes, Warzy, you are crazy. <laughs> so, well, no crazier than you. You're out there running in this weather. I'm out there doing up my uh, steaks or pork chops or chicken, whatever, you know. But uh, I enjoy uh, cooking out on my grills, all right, depending on what I'm having. 99% of the time, I... Uh, do it on my Weber kettle charcoal grill. But every once in a while, if I'm just in a lazy mood, I do have a little propane grill and I'll, you know, throw something on there. Um, I get the presentation marks, the lines, you know, but uh, nothing better than having uh, something off uh, of a charcoal grill. It gives it just that much of a better flavor. Again, that's my humble opinion. You guys might tell me differently, but that's okay. That's why we live in this beautiful uh, country, the United States of America, where you can have your opinion and I can have mine, and we can agree to disagree. <laughs> By the way, gasoline over here in Pennsylvania, all right, the average price is $2.81 per gallon right now, all right? Uh, that's pretty good for if you guys are traveling, you know, for uh, the Thanksgiving holiday, all right? Now, over here in Tower City... Um, I just got gas the other day, and I think I paid like two dollars and seventy-eight point nine cents a gallon. And of course, uh, us in Pennsylvania, we pump our own gas. New Jersey, they pump it for you, and they're still a little bit lower than us, you know. And they're paying somebody, <clears throat> you know, X amount of dollars per hour to pump the gas, and they're still cheaper than us. Of course, we're the land of taxes, you know. <clears throat> the average national price for gasoline in the United States of America. All right. I just heard it on the, the news today, so I took notes here. All right. The average price is $2.63 per gallon. Average. All right. So you tell me what the price of gas is around you, you know, and uh, like I said, it's 281.9 per gallon here in Pennsylvania. Uh, temperature today in Pennsylvania, it's going to be roughly about 38 degrees, all right? Right now, I think it's 34, but it, our high is going to be 38, maybe 40 degrees, all right? Thanksgiving here in Pennsylvania. Now, this has got me concerned because I'm smoking a turkey, all right? Uh, it's going to be 34 degrees. So, uh, on av and I'm doing a, it's uh, an 18-pound turkey. And uh, I uh, averaged it out. It, it should take me about five hours to smoke this turkey, all right? But now um, that's with normal weather. So I'm thinking I better give myself a little bit of wiggle time, you know. So uh, instead of starting it, let's say, at uh, like 9 o'clock in the morning, I'll probably uh, have my smoker ready to go, or my uh, Weber uh, kettle grill ready to go uh, by 7, all right? Um, I'm going to have it in my brine. Uh, <clears throat> I got some uh, apple, uh, cranberry apple cider, all right, that, uh, of course, I'm putting that in a, in a cooler, you know, just dumping that in about a gallon, and uh, I got some ginger. I'm going to cut that up real nice and put that in the cooler. And uh, what else? Do I, oh, I got some uh, navel oranges. I'll quarter those up real nice, and I'll drop those in. 
and of course my turkey's going in there, you know. And uh, then I, I have to put in the cavity some rosemary and sage or whatever it's called. I keep thinking of the, the Simon and Garfunkel song. Uh, I, I, anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm putting that in there, and uh, I'll uh, brine it for approximately 24 hours. So um, she's just about, she, the turkey is just about completely thawed. Um, we took it out, uh, what was it, the uh, day before yesterday, I guess, to slowly uh, thaw on its own. And, uh, of course, I have it in the cooler, you know, with uh, some ice around it because I don't want that to get to room temperature, you know. <laughs> so I'm doing uh, the turkey, and uh, this year I'm going to use uh, some pecan wood, some cherry wood, and a little bit of hickory, all right. I wasn't able to get my orange wood. I was hoping I could get it. I, I even got in touch with uh, Cabela's, and, uh, you know, I told all you guys on <clears throat> one of my other videos that uh, try the orange wood, and uh, if you have a Cabela's near you, get it through Cabela's. Well, I got in touch with them. They don't have any orange wood. I don't know if they uh, uh, stopped getting it from whoever their distributor was, but uh, I talked to one of the people in, in that department, and they said, sorry, we don't have any orange wood. I said, well, I got it there. A couple years ago, you know, but I got it one time, and uh, my uh, son-in-law got it for me one time. But uh, so it, it's still going to be a great turkey, you know. And if you if you've never smoked one on your own, and uh, you have the time, you know, you don't need a smoker. Get yourself a a Weber kettle grill or uh, something close to that, and. You just do indirect heat. I've, I've been through all this with you guys before. But uh, if you need more information on that, send me a private message and uh, I'll throw it out there for you, okay? All right, folks. Our uh, little morning chat is just about over here. Hope you guys have a great day today. <clears throat> well, good Lord willing, I'll talk to you later on. And speaking of the Lord... Make sure you thank him for another day on earth, all right, that we were gifted for this. And, uh, you know, uh, let's do something positive today. Get motivated. Help somebody out if you can, all right? Always have some kind words for your uh, fellow human being, all right? Love your family and your kids and your grandkids because, you know it, we're not guaranteed tomorrow, okay? Pray to your God for peace on earth also, all right? I'll talk to you guys later on. Uh, if you have any comments or concerns on anything, uh, you can just uh, reply, you know, on this video. Uh, you can comment on that, or you can uh, send me a private message uh, through Messenger, all right? And uh, if you like this video, by all means, subscribe to it, and then hit that little bell, and uh, pass it along. Share it with your friends and family. Uh, I'd like to get some more uh, subscribers that are going to, chime in on this and tune in, you know, in the morning and have coffee with me, you know. I should really do a uh, morning talk show on the radio. What do you think, you know? Find me somebody to uh, send a resume out to since I'm going to be retiring here from the uh, uh, Department of the Military and Veterans Affairs. Uh, I'm getting closer and closer. But, uh, yeah, I do a, a nice little good morning, uh, uh, much to do about nothing uh, talk show in the morning. Uh, instead of talking negative crap, just talk some light and airy, nothing-nothing talk show, you know? <laughs> All right, guys, one more time. Ah, cheers and Nostradovia. I'll talk to you later on. God bless you. I love you. Keep on smiling. Take care of yourself. <laughs>